So, remember when I said... When we come back, we'll delve into the, the meat of the box set. Those are all going to be in the next video. Well... Alright, next I want to talk about Air Racer. Because this is a really, really clever retool of the Windblade mold that was retooled into Slipstream. And then they used that version for Air Razor here. I'm excited because I don't, I, I've never really had a version of Air Razor. And to have something that matches with the entire idea of the Dawn of Futures Past Beast Wars set, this is really, really cool. Not to mention, she hasn't really had a figure that's been in show accurate colors before. So, I'm excited, to say the least. So this is the first time that I've ever had my hands on this mold before. I mean, well, I've, I've had Windblade, but I, I didn't buy the Slipstream mold. It's just, it was really neat, but I, I didn't think it was $30 neat. So this is interesting to see the new Slipstream tooling on here. But of course, just like Windblade, it's, it's a little finicky, it's easy to come apart, so this is just in in pieces before you get everything properly together. Uh, so far, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing with these multiple colors and with these uh, ribbed paint details here for her feathers. But it seems like her nose cone isn't, isn't pegging in right. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get. So this is Air Razor. Interesting, I, I like the idea of, of green here. It's a common optic color for Maximals, but I don't remember what the color of her eyes were. It may have been green on her robot mode, but I, I remember that her eagle eyes were, no, her hawk eyes were, were just regular white and black. I like this deco, because it, it's subtle. It doesn't immediately scream at the hawk, but when you know that it was the hawk, then, then you start to see things like the top side of, of the wings here, and then the bottom side of, of the wings that was this other lighter beige color. And then, of course, like the, the color of, of, her, of her talons. That would be the back there. All right, I get it. I, I'm not sure how I feel about clear translucent green for the fans, but maybe that was on the same parts tree as the as the cockpit. Maybe that's why that's there. Let's transform it because I think that that's where this is really going to shine. I mean this this is subtle. It doesn't steal the show just by itself in this mode. It looks like it fits but it doesn't stand out. And I think for, for Air Razor being a vehicle mode, I think that that is for the better. They could have done some extra little ribbing like they did with this paint on her torso and shoulders but I think that may have been going a little too far. And this is, this is okay in my opinion. Let's transform it. Ooh, already I really like her head. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. The way the hawk beak comes down in front of her face like that. Yes, 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 okay. Oops, oh, boys, you put on her heel backwards. It looks like the identical part from left to right, so that's not going to be an issue. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, look at her. That totally looks like her. I get it. And then the, it's like these little bits up here are kind of like little feathers on the tips of her wings. I mean, she didn't exactly have that exact kind of wing shape on the, sh on the show, on her animation model, but the imagination kind of works there. It plays. And this paint work here on, on her chest piece is exactly why I was won over and, and, and wanted to buy this air razor because this is so cleverly done to exactly be her hawk chest. Look at that. It has the black tip there. It has the orange bits for her waist sections. It has the, the top bit that's, that's the top of the eagle head. It's perfectly there. And and the head is exactly painted as it needs to be. This is a really, really clever clever use of an existing head to try and, and evoke the, the same character. And there are her green eyes. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. She also comes with a couple of accessories, and these are remarkably detailed. Look at these. Here, I'm gonna zoom in on this. Those are delicious. Yeah, okay. And then these go... these just slot in Yes, and then these are like her wrist cannons that she has in the show. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, this is fantastic. I love this figure. I'm, I'm glad that this was a must buy for me. Um, of course, if you've, if you've dealt with the wing blade slipstream mold before, you know her, her uh, balancing issues. 
and she still has those. She's still got these wonky little heels here that just don't want to agree much. Uh, her paintwork is amazing, and she makes for a terrific air razor on the shelf. Her, her paintwork is immaculate, her details are really, really crisp, and brilliantly inspired. I think this is the best incarnation of Air Razor that has, that has ever really been made. Whether it's been her original Beast Wars toy, which I, like I said, I never owned, or the, uh, when was it? It was BotCon 09? Oh, something? Her, her last one, which was the, um, it might have been a Slug Slinger. It might have been the name of it, name of that mold. But that one was like finicky as hell. And yet, here we are with the Windblade Swoopstream mold, so where did we go from there? But this one, I feel, is much better for her body type and her specific color scheme. It's closer to her personality. I think that this, this particular set is one of the must-haves from BotCon this year. If you don't have Air Razor in your collection, this one fills a perfect spot right alongside with, I mean, either the Dawn of Futures past idea, that whole ongoing kind of thing, or just filling in with the rest of your Beast Wars toys. I mean, that's what's fantastic about any of these kinds of ideas is that they can really fit in, um, whether they're your vehicle versions or your Beast versions. Because these, these redecos are so clever, and they, they serve their proper place. So then, here you have Air Razor with Terrorsaur. You can see how those two scale up.